where do you want to start? By taking these off. I don't think so. I like them where they are. You're like a rock star in Purgatory. You know the ones? You think they're dead and then they turn up on stage and it kind of ruins your day. What brings you to Crowtown? You gonna go through the door? Can't. Never given a key. The keys are easy. You can get them anywhere. Yeah? Where? I ask the questions. Murderer. You know what it says in the book? Now, Genesis chapter 4, verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, Anyone who kills Cain shall suffer vengeance seven times over. Kills. Not push you into a table. Besides, I don't think he really gives a shit about you these days. So once again, where do you want to start? A day. Go on. She hired me to find a dog. Do you want me to push you into that table again? Dogs don't come here. They go straight to heaven. It's true. D-O-G. Dog. Dog in Crowtown. I suppose that will bring you in a lot of coin. Just one, but it's one of 30 very special silver coins. And I suppose you have proof of this? Yeah. I need to be free to show you. No. It's in my pocket. This is not a camera. Well, of course it ain't. It's so you can look at the pictures. <laughs> is this a joke? That's the dame that hired me. That is a vase in a field. If you keep mocking me about like this, I'm gonna tear your spine out. I use these to keep the story straight. Vase is the day. Fire is a fight. And a key, well... You know what that means. It means you're full of shit. I think you have wasted enough of my time, Mr. Kane. Kane? What? No, mister. Just Kane. You see, I'm from a time well before prefixes. In fact, I'm before a lot of things became common. Birth, murder, guilt. So if I ask you to look at the pictures, indulge me. Whatever you say, mister. You see, the thing about Crowtown is that it shouldn't exist. And why is that? Well, there's no need for it. You die, you face the door. You turn your key in the lock. If you're good, you go to heaven. Bad, and you fall into hell. It doesn't work like that. No, because God made a mistake. He gave us all free will. To do what? To refuse to go through the door. And the town grew, filled with people happier to live a half-life here and risk the choice. People like me? Oh, no, I thought. That's Detective Gravel. Hmm. You didn't choose to stay here. 
you lost your key. Remember? Is this going anywhere? Of course. So, I needed to speak to Pilot. Next slide. Pilot's politics. You'd be better off speaking to the families. Pilot runs the families. Everyone knows that. And what did Pilot have to say? The usual politician talk, but he did tell me where the dog could usually be seen. Next slide. I know that place. That's that's Aphrodite's bar. That's right. That's where I first saw her. The girl in the red dress. What girl? You don't recognise her. Interesting. Try again as if you're looking out the corner of your eye. Holy crap, how did you do that? Do you recognise her? Should I? Try the next one. How long have you been a detective or sort? 30 years. Come to house, police secrets. I'm sorry, that means. No, I get it. Copenhagen precinct. You speak Danish? Yeah. South will you? <laughs> and after you died? Six years in Crowtown. Never wanted to move on. Never wanted to turn the key. What? I mean, you can easily get them down here. People are just queuing up to sell them. Isn't that what you said? Maybe I'm scared. Maybe I know which way the door will open. I think we both know which way the door will open. Now, how did you die? Mafia hit. They thought I was asking too much to look the other way, so I was removed. How? Drive by when I was taking my wife to evening class. Killed us both. Now, I bet that pissed her off. She understood. I mean, she, she knew where the money was coming from. So, what happened to her? I don't know. So death has to part, that's what the book says. So once we're down here... Why? Next slide. You see, now I followed that dog all over Crowtown. The business area, the suicide slums, the atheist quarter. Always moving. Always hustling. No, I'm getting really sick of this. How about you tell me what this has got to do with me? Why do you think it has anything to do with you? Because you asked for me by name when you came in. <laughs> Haven't you worked it out yet? I mean, I pretty much stated it when I walked in. DOJ. Doc. Detective. Oswald. Gravel. Now. Now I've been looking for you. For a very long time. You've been a bad doggy. You ain't got nothing. Those pictures are just random crap. I don't know that girl. Oh, not so. Look again. No. I said look. And I said no. Oh, oh. Now listen to me. Yeah? I killed my brother, and I created murder. Do you really want to go this way with me? She, she, this isn't right. I'm supposed to be interrogating you. You were never, ever interrogating me. Now look. Her ex-wife, she died. She should have gone to heaven, but she didn't. Why? I don't know. Maybe she lost a key too. Yeah? And how the hell could she do that? And you've got the damn thing around your neck. Hmm? Look, she didn't want to go through the door. Then get a choice! You knew the only way 
for her to go through was for you two to do it together. No. And you didn't want to do that, did you? You godless, godless man. Dad, we, we were through. You took her key and you tossed her into the streets. You didn't even recognize her, did you? But you have no right to judge me. I'm not the one who judged you. But you will be judged. Is that what my wife told you when she hired you? Your wife didn't hire me. The dame did. <laughs> the dame. Who the hell is the dame? You'll find out soon enough. You see, we're going to set up a little reunion. You and your wife. And then you're going to face the door. Go ahead. Bring the bitch here. <laughs> I, I can't go through without a key. And this is only good for one of us. You can easily get him down here. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> Please, you can't do this to me. <laughs> Did she beg like that, Oswald? Did you listen to her? Why? Why what? Why are you doing this? What are you getting out of this? Well, I already told you. You see, I got one of 30 particular coins. And I'm collecting the set. Full house. You know, your wife will be here in a bit, so I'll leave you to prepare yourself. I've been told the journey to hell can literally tear your skin off. So sit. Thank you.